Hi, I'm Rob and welcome to my Constantly Racing Mind. It's been a few weeks since I ordered my Han Solo vest, which I did a video of a few weeks ago, and guess what came in the mail? Let's take a look. Once upon a time, George Lucas commissioned a self-taught military historian to create the ensembles for his space opera, Star Wars. That person was costume designer John Mollo, who was responsible for the iconic looks from the first two Star Wars films, A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. Mollo was born on March 18, 1931 in London, and he died a few years ago on October 25, 2017, at the ripe old age of 86. Mollo once said of George Lucas when asked to create the costumes that he strongly believed that the costumes should be real clothes and that if they were noticed too much, they would distract the audience. His iconic costumes include Princess Leia's draped white dress, Han Solo's cowboy aesthetic, and Darth Vader's black helmet. When asked, Mollo described the film as, it's sort of a space western and one of the heroes is a dustbin. In 1978, Mollo won his first Oscar for Best Costume Design. That was for Star Wars, which was released the previous year in 1977. His second Oscar was also for Best Costume Design for Gandhi in 1982, which he shared with Indian designer Banu Ataya. So let's go ahead and open it up. So when I first ordered this ve the vest and shirt combo from Todd's Costumes, um, it, about a week after I ordered it, I asked them, hey, what's going on? And they said, oh, yes, they were about ready to write me. And they had actually just sent an email out, to be honest, basically telling me that the shirt would be delayed. And if I wanted to, I can get the vest shipped to me directly with no extra charge while I'm wait while they're getting ready to set up the, the machines for the the run for the, um, the larger shirt size. This is a 2XL. Plus, what's been going on in the world with the pandemic and everything, uh, you know, you got to give them a little bit of leeway, but they were very, you know, uh, customer centric and was able to keep me in uh, in the loop at all times. So, so it came in today, and here it is. Now, one thing I noticed is when I was looking at the the shirt, kind of a cream color. When I was looking at the uh, pictures online, it looked kind of a white color, but as I was reading up on the costumes that were created for Star Wars, and here's the vest, I'll put those on in a moment, that what was actually happening was that the colors didn't come out quite right. Uh, for example, the Rebel Fleet Troopers helmets, they were actually more of a grayish color, but they looked very white. Um, they were assigning colors to the Star Wars characters, and all the good guys pretty much had earthen colors, earthen, uh, earthen tones for their colors. And this is more of a cream color, which is, you know, kind of an earth tone color. Uh, whereas the, uh, the uh, Imperial uh, uh, side of everything was more industrial, gray, blacks, whatnot. So, Han Solo kind of got a little mixture of both, a little bit of black, you know, for kind of a little baddie, and the gray tone, which means he's somewhat of a good guy. So he's a little in the middle there, which makes a lot of sense, whereas Luke's costume, although it looks very white, was actually more of a tannish color as well. So the only difference was really Leia's costume, was, which really was a stark white. So, you know, now that now I got this here, I'm going to go ahead and try it on. So here it is. This is the, the shirt. Like I mentioned, it's a cream color, open, open top, cuffs, kind of a, almost like bell bottom type cuffs. And let's go ahead and put on the vest and see how this looks. Now I know there's a trick to putting this on because I found it out the last time I did a video. It basically, you can very easily get caught in the sleeves or the lack of sleeves. But here we go. Uh, the shirt, the combo. So what's next? Well, let's figure out how to take care of this now. So 
So the vest is a cotton mix. So while you could probably get away with just throwing it in a washing machine, but there is no guarantee how that would turn out. Uh, so I would recommend hand washing uh, the vest. Now the shirt definitely needs to be hand washed. It's a wool blend and will definitely shrink with too much heat. The hand washing process is pretty straightforward. Uh, you'll need to wash both of these items separately as the black vest will certainly bleed uh, with the first several washes and you know what that's like. You can use something like Woolite and wash them in warm though not hot water. A sink, tub or even a bucket uh, would work fine for that. Uh, let both pieces of the clothing flat, dry flat uh, either by laying them out or by hanging them or even putting them on a clothesline if you remember what those are. You could probably tumble dry them in a drying machine, but definitely don't use any heat because the shirt in particular will shrink a lot. There are quite a few useful YouTube videos out there that I found and on cleaning wool, so I'll leave a link or two uh, in the descriptions. So I hope that part of this uh, was uh, helpful. So now what else does a Han, Han Solo cosplayer need? Well, the pants with the blood stripes, a proper 1970s wide belt, a gun belt with a holster and of course all the greeblies and his trusty DL-44 blasters. All of those will be coming up in future builds. So if you like this uh, video, found it enjoyably, enjoyable, please go ahead and leave a like. Uh, I want to know what you think in the, in the comments below. I'll leave a link to Todd's costumes. And most importantly, if you can, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more uh, sci-fi uh, cosplay props and prop builds. So. Thank you for watching and please stay safe out there.